Greetings, St. John's family. We're the Walkers. I'm Jen. I'm Thomas. Um, we joined St. John's in 2014. We were looking for a church home to raise a family in. Um, it was important to us that our children had a place to go where they felt loved and knowing that there were other people in the world who fiercely loved our children and our family was very important to uh, a young family like us. Um, between Sunday school and the preschool and the children's chapel, um, various ministries for us and committees that we've served on and book studies, we found our place very quickly. Um, St. John's has been the light of Christ for our family in so many ways. The Young Families Group that we are part of has offered us fellowship and support and some of the best friends that we have. Um, meals, prayers, love during illness and difficult times and childbirth. The staff and clergy have always been so available and so attentive, which is really important for us at this stage in our life when um, our schedules are really crazy and just getting in touch with anybody uh, at a normal time, at a scheduled time can be hard. Uh, before everything closed up and shut down, I can tell you that I walked into church many times and walked straight into the office and not a door was closed. And that was really important to us. Um, specifically Matt or Mr. Matt, as he's known in our house, has provided so much love and support and invaluable education that has guided us so much as Christian parents. And because St. John's has served as the light of Christ for us in so many ways, we understand the importance of us supporting St. John's as well. I think we also understand that church is the people, um, but beyond that, coming from a background in finance, we also understand that the ability to pay for things like the building that we have church in, the beautiful grounds, and keeping the lights on costs money. Um, and that, you know, is, is no different from your, your average household anyway. Um, the past, past few months have been anything but ordinary. Um, serving on the outreach committee, we've seen, you know, requests that we probably wouldn't have imagined in a, a typical year. And as a congregation, we've seen people step up individually or as groups and address those needs that people came to the church with. Um, one way we like to fund you know anything in our household whether it's a vacation or christmas presents or just a you know rainy day fund is to set goals um you know whether that's you know 401k match or automatic deduction from the paycheck or just you know a savings account that we don't have access to um, <laughs> the our pledge is no different you know one thing that we try to do is is talk about you know what's an attainable goal for our family um and then maybe tack on a little bit more if we can uh, to make it a little bit of a stretch goal uh, and then look at that periodically throughout the year see how we're doing realm makes that very easy th these days uh, so you can see you know how much you pledged back last november and how much you have uh, still yet to go um, so it, it helps you keep on track it helps keep you um, you know understanding where you are with your pledge and uh, that's helped our family make our pledges most years uh, and uh, so that's uh, that's basically how we we discuss our pledge and how we come to you know pledge every year for the past few years and um, and we hope you'll join us we hope you'll um, join us in submitting your pledge you can do so online you can go to the St. John's website and fill out an online pledge there or you can fill out the paperwork that came in the mail and send that back to St. John's. Um, but we hope that you'll join us in supporting the church that has supported us so much. <laughs>